So in this video, we're going to look at uh, some of the difficulties of benchmarking uh, smartphones and mobile devices. Uh, obviously, they all run different operating systems, and you can't just freely load your own code onto them. So one way to look at doing it is to have a test that runs in the browser, because they're all internet connected. Um, so what we've got here is we've got the iPad, the iPhone, and the JujuPad that's running left to right. And all three of them are on the same wireless network, uh, and I've preloaded a website which is filled with demos that use the canvas element of HTML5 to create graphics. Um, and what we'll be able to see is how, uh, how there is a speed difference between all three of them. And we're actually able to compare devices that have completely different operating systems and completely different chips inside them because the Apple devices both use uh, ARM Cortex-A8 based CPUs and the GigiPad actually has an x86 based Intel Atom chip. Uh, unsurprisingly, the iPhone 3G, which is the one in the middle, uh, is dramatically slower. At 412 megahertz, it's, a, it's clocked a lot slower than the two other devices. It's also a lot older. It's about two years older than the iPad and the JujuPad. Uh, the iPad's on the left. It's got the 1 gigahertz uh, Apple A4 chip in it, which is uh, ARM-based. And on the right, the JujuPad 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom. A further issue with this approach is obviously this isn't a real website that you'd ever really visit. Um, so you can say this is something of a synthetic benchmark. That said, the upside is it does allow you to compare very different devices running different software with different hardware inside, so uh, perhaps it's somewhere to start.